Welcome to Candid Travels, Texas. Today, Wes Craven died, and we're going to Vestal, New York, where I grew up and uh, played there for like about a couple of years in my youth. And I'm going to look for the houses and the places I lived at and <laughs> where I uh, got to go to uh, school. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's about 5.20 a.m. and we are going to Vestal, New York, here at Canada Travels, Texas, to a house at the corner of Clover Drive and William Street, Liam Street, uh, one of the houses I grew up in in my early childhood, okay? Hopefully we'll make it before sunset and we are at Maryville, Tennessee, woo! Oh, look at the moon. It's so cute. On the way to New York. It's 5.30 a.m. and the moon is still out and the sun is not up yet. All right, we are now uh, at sunrise. We're driving through the Smoky Mountains here in Tennessee on the highway. It's about 6.44 a.m. and the sun is rising. Uh, yeah, on our way to Vestal, New York. More Smoky Mountains. Ooh. Then we can change our condition. In other words, our position. Welcome to Virginia! Here at Canada Travels, Texas. We're driving through Virginia. Now on the way to Vestal, New York, where I spent several years of my early childhood. Virginia, and here we are. Nice, beautiful shack I would like to live in. Woo wee! Yeah! All right! Howdy, howdy, howdy! Am I going? Is this going? All right! We're in Virginia, driving to a Roanoke to Vestal, New York, which is upstate New York, rural part where I grew up in many of my childhood years. We drove through here all the time. A lot of Texans are from New York and Tennessee. I don't know if you knew that. Sam Houston was from Tennessee and joined the Texas Army and became the president of Texas. <laughs> and several people who fought at the Alamo were from New York, born in New York. Anyway, not the city, of course. We're talking like small city. Anyway, look at these rolling hills. When I was a child, I remember growing up being driven through here all the time. So this is the first time as a grown-up that I actually drove these roads. So I can't talk right now, let me drive. Here is the sunrise. It is around uh, 7.51 a.m. and it's a uh, sun has risen the last 30 minutes here in Virginia as we head toward New York. More Virginia terrain. Woohoo! And look at the is that farmland. Yep. All right, here's some ivy right here, and we are officially now in the Appalachian Mountains. Yeehaw! Where Jed Clampett and Granny and Jethro and Ellie Mae are from. And you see there, look up front. It's still kind of like smoky, like the Smoky Mountains, but it's it's a, we're officially now in the Appalachian Mountains. We're driving up through the Appalachian and headed toward my old childhood home for a few years of Vesto, New York, and Johnson City, New York. Okay, we're still in Virginia, driving through Virginia, some more rolling hills. Uh, beautiful. Look at that red farmhouse. You see that? Have a field of dreams where you grow corn and then you mow it down you make it into a baseball field and your long-lost father will come back when he's young and play ball with you all right what do we see there Allison a red barn and a silo uh, we are still in Virginia and Grand Caverns oh I went there as a little boy here's another silo wow look at all that stuff now this is a, like a real real farm and see all that all that that field of corn <laughs> That's what they, 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 they harvest that corn, it goes into the silo, and then you see that? It's kind of cool. Huh? All American, right here. 
I don't know what you're filming. What are you filming? What's that? Grain silo. Grain silo. Woohoo. Alright, so this is corn that is ready to be harvested because it's all yellow. 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 Haha. Uh -huh. There's the Potomac River and we are now entering the state of Maryland. Look at that. Let's see. Alright. Washington DC is near here. What does it say here? Antium. Ant Antium Battlefield. No, you've got to hey. recognize that Antium Battlefield. Ah. Uh. Memorial Highway. And here's Maryland. Mason Dixon Road. Rocky Ridge, Cluster Wolves, and Antiques. All right, we are now officially in Pennsylvania, and it welcomes us the state of independence. We are now no longer in the South. Okay, there. here's grain silos also in Pennsylvania and corn. Oh boy, this one has cattle, look. Okay, here's a Pennsylvania house. <laughs> Here we go, more harvested <laughs> corn fields. Uh, this flat stuff that's been harvested and growing back. Four score and seven year ago. <laughs> Gettysburg. We're in Gettysburg. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all human beings, men, are created equal. Lincoln Way. <laughs> okay. Allison wanted to film the clouds. Because she says it looks cool. I don't know. Does it look cool? I think so. God has promised I am <laughs> Look at that. What is that? Cool. <laughs> We're in City Island. It's still in Pennsylvania. We're in Hershey. Keep left. Pennsylvania passing through right now. Where they make York. Where they make Hershey chocolate. Yeah. Two miles to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Are we getting some chocolate? Maybe. I don't know. All right. Hershey Medical Center is the medical center paid for by Hershey Chocolate Factory. Hershey Attraction is the attractions paid for by the Hershey Chocolate Company. And that's probably the coolest thing they have here in, in Pennsylvania by kids' standards, I think. Here in the Appalachian Mountains in Pennsylvania. And they've got all this block off. Look at this. Look at this concrete here. I heard about this country couple. Check out this concrete right here. I'm looking straight ahead to drive. They've just done this to make it safe so they don't crash into you on the oncoming traffic. All right, it's over. Yay. Still in Pennsylvania. Look at the drop off over there. And uh, we are hopefully going to be close to the New York State. Uh, crossing border over. <laughs> yeah, the New York. At the border of Pennsylvania and New York. And we're about to cross over as we cross this bridge. Now, we're now in New York State. And we're almost at 52 Harrison Street, Johnson City, New York, which is where I lived as a little boy. So we're gonna go there, and I heard that the house was torn down, but Wilson Memorial Hospital, which was across the street from it, is still there. Okay. Which is pretty much the same city as Vestal and uh, Vestal and Johnson City. So it's all the same place, okay? Binghamton, New York, which is where I spent several years as a child. Dunmore Drinker Street. Listen, look at these names, man. Check out this steep mountainside. We are we are nearing the uh, New York Pennsylvania border in about 40 minutes. Okay, so uh, yeah, Allison's never seen that before, right? No, no, no. Right. I don't know, steep, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. New York, yeah. New York welcomes. Experience, explore, enjoy. I love New York.com. Yay! Yay! My old home. Yeehaw! I love yes. New York! I love New York! We're gonna go to Vestal, New York. Everyone's been to the city. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go to where I grew up. I think you'll like that more. 
<laughs> okay, we're headed toward Johnson City. Look at there's it's kind of it's, it's kind of different, isn't it? Look yeah. At the houses. Johnson City is where one of the first houses I lived in for about a year. It's 52 Harrison Street. It used to be across the street from uh, Wilson Memorial Hospital. And uh, I, I had two friends. Dusty was a kid that was next door to me. But I heard that the houses have been torn down. So I'm going to try to locate the location where the house used to be. So here's Airport Road. This looks really familiar with me. I've Take never driven this as an adult. Right. I was a little child. Toward Johnson City. Uh, like, you know, a little money. three, four, five, six year old kid being driven around here. And uh, it's kind of like a <laughs> the early childhood memory here. Okay. This is it. Okay. All right. So we're here in Johnson's and there's Eli Park CFJ. I don't remember what it stands for. I just missed the CFJ Boulevard. Okay, hopefully I can turn right here. Okay, we can. So we're gonna try to locate my old house, 52 Harrison Street. <laughs> okay, look at these houses, look, look. <laughs> so here's Johnson City, New York, look. Carpenters, there's a Carpenters Union. <laughs> Refrigeration and Ice Company. And this is like, we're in 2015 here, okay? Does it look like, Allison, like a normal town in 2015 or it looks kind of old mm -hmm. by your standards? It, it looks like, like it's kind of stuck in time. Lake it's Avenue. stuck in time, isn't it? Yeah, so here's Lake Avenue. Okay. In Johnson City, and look at how old, look at the ivy. I remember this, this is just like I remember it. It hadn't changed at all. The only thing different is the automobiles look like 2015, but other than that, it looks just the same. This is the Duke's place. Here's Main Street. We're gonna be there in a few seconds, actually. Uh huh. 52 Harrison Street is. See what's in that lot. Here's the beer depot. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> oh, silver and gold. Look, they buy your silver and gold. Turn left on Harrison Street. Uh, expressions. All right, Harrison Street. We're gonna turn left on Harrison Street. That's the street I, I, one of the first houses I can remember growing up in is 52 Harrison Street. I was forced to memorize it in case I got lost, you know. 52 Harrison, I, I remember it to this day. 52 Harrison Street, 52 Harrison Street, 52 Harrison Street. Wow, look. Oh, the, the foliage looks the same. We're almost there. <laughs> look at this red building here, this Equinox broadcasting look look at this red building I forgot what it what it, oh, it's the library I used to go there for the library I remember this this is so funny there's a Norman's uniform if you live here it'll be like you're stuck in I don't know the 1950s what would you say Allison I don't know James Rectory oh man look at this isn't this great uh -huh. this is where I grew up in my early childhood it's kind of like a three-year stint away from Texas. There are, like I said, a lot of Texans are originally from New York and Tennessee. So it uh, kind of explains why Texans, I think, are the way they are. New Yorkers don't take no, you know, no, no crap from nobody. You know, it's kind of Turn left on Harrison Street. Okay, here's Harrison Street. Yeah, okay. Now here's the big revelation. Let's see what's there. We're here. We're getting ready to turn on Harrison Street. Is this it? I don't know, but the no, this isn't Liam, be it. careful. This isn't it. Okay. I mean, see that seriously. Texas plate? All right. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Look at the beautiful church building. It's old school. Old school. Here we are. I just missed it, did I? No. Here's Harrison Street. Turn left on Harrison Street. Oh my gosh. We're on Harrison Street. There's a Walgreens there. I think that's where my, hold on, let's see. 52 Harrison Street. Oh my gosh, where's the hospital? Okay. Isn't it that brown building right okay, there? Okay, the hospital is this brown. Okay, hold on. Because when we looked on the uh, thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, where are we, where are we? Okay, so Wilson Memorial Hospital is now called something else. UHS, so this is a hospital. Oh, I remember it. See this white building on the left? 
That's at Wilson Memorial Wilson Hospital. Street on the right. To the right. My house used to be here, and now it's Southern Tier Imaging. They tore, my house was all no, over here. I think it's over there, isn't it? It's right, yeah, 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 you're right. It's right across the street from the hospital. Yep, there it is. So 52 Harrison Street is now. So that was your. That was the childhood home. It says, yeah. Is this say 52? 52, yeah. Oh my gosh, here's yeah. 52 Harrison Street. <laughs> Oh, what is it now? It's a it's a surgery and it's a surgical hospital. And pre-admission testing pre and a pharmacy. Testing. Okay, I'm gonna find a place to pull over. All right, so welcome to one of my childhood homes here in Johnson City, New York, 52 Harrison Street. This used to be my house, and now they built a. Uh, I don't know what this is. Pre-admission testing, ambulatory surgery, and pharmacy. <laughs> this was where I used to live. Wow. That's funny. They tore it down. So I'm going to stand underneath where I used to live. That's a child. Ta-da! We're here. Yeah, we made it! Okay, let's go to the elementary school that I went to. Okay, so this is Wilson Memorial Hospital. It's called Wilson Medical Center now. But see that ramp? I would walk up that ramp and eat at the cafeteria with my dad. How you doing? Okay, that was, uh, I'm going to the second house where I used to live at right after this one. Um, it's at the corner of, guess where? Clover Drive and William Liam Street. Okay, it's at the corner, but it's in a smaller town called Vessel. And that's where we're going to head over there now from Johnson City, New York. And that's our ultimate destination is Vessel, New York. All right. This is a McDonald's I used to eat that as a little boy here in, uh, we're still in Johnson City heading over to Vestal, New York. There was no Walgreens as far as I remember. Look at this building, you can tell they like, they changed it, but it looks old. Look at the, hold that McDonald's sign. Look. Okay. We are now in the town of Vestal. That took like two minutes. <laughs> it took us two minutes. <laughs> Pi Delta Psi. All right, we're now in Vestal. <laughs> Vestal. Look at how quickly it changed. It's almost like LA, huh? Bun Hill Road. I remember this so clearly. Boy. He's letting me go because he sees I'm a Texas truck. Okay, right. now we turn Vestal right on Parkway Vestal East. Parkway. See, here we are, Monroe. Muffler and Brake was here, look. Smelled M O N R O. I remember this so clearly. No turn on red. Okay. Oi. KFC was here. We ate there all the time. It was called Kentucky Fried Chicken back then, not KFC. What about this Denny's? No, there was no Denny's. That's now there's new. a. Now there's an ambulance. Uh huh. Oh, do you see the ambulance says Vestal on it? Yes. <laughs> Can you zoom in on it? I did. <laughs> Monroe Muffler. And there's a place called Black Belt Academy. We drove by there all the time. Black Belt Academy, I think, was on the right hand side. I wonder if it's still there. But it's like a real big school, you know? Still waiting for light. I can't turn right on red in the state of uh, New York. Oh my gosh! Did I say it? crap? Okay, I remember this road being driven up this road every time we were almost near home. And then this looks exactly the same. The auto dealership is still there. And I don't know what this building is now, but here's Donna Road. I remember Donna, the name of a girl. Donna Road. And then we make a left. Okay, here's Donna. Am I, I don't know what. Oh, I think this turn is like a speed bump. Street, then turn right. Here's my street. Look, Liam Street. Here's William Street. You can look at it. It's on the GPS. There is this Donna and William. You get that? Donnie and Donna and William. This is how I remember how to get home in case I got lost. Okay, we already have a house for sale by owner. So people are moving out. So I remember it's really, really steep uphill road. They didn't have the cones there before. Okay? So we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Clover Drive will be coming up in a few seconds. Oh wow, look, the neighborhood is a little different. The Turn people right are a lot older. Clover Drive. We're here. This is it. Clover Drive. Okay. 
I went down, wow, the, this is where we went sledding, down this hill. This mm -hmm. is a house. Mm -hmm. This is a house. So I'm going to stand here and I want to show you something. That's it. Here's that house that I was at, I grew up in, in this one for a few years. Okay. Okay. Clover and William Street or Liam Street, all right? Okay. Clover Drive, look. Clover Drive. All right. Rolling. Okay. So this is the house I grew up in. Look at the blue, sh the blue sh uh, shutters are still the same. Look at how old this sign is. It's the same sign. And notice the backyard, there's, there's no fence. So all the kids in the neighborhood knew, we all knew each other. So we just walk across, there's no fence. These, the Woodards live next door. And down this way, Cheryl Kramer lived there. And the Art Haas, the Haas's live down this way. So I locked the truck and we're gonna walk down here and see if the Kramer's house is still there. My parents and that, that pot was still there. Everything looks exactly the same. The shutters are the same. My room is that room. The shutters on the very left. You see the, if you see all that, that was my bedroom right up there. And this sure seemed a lot more steep when I was younger. And this is the Augustinos lived here. And Andrea Augustino was the youngest daughter and she used to babysit us. Her dad passed away like shortly after that. So it was very sad and their house is for sale. But down straight this way, or down this way, we can where that says dead end is Cheryl Kramer's house. Okay, we can try walking down there. Okay, I'm not gonna talk now, just listen. Isn't it peaceful and quiet here? This is where I grew up. See, down here is Cheryl Kramer's house, and we're gonna see if it's, the house is still there. Okay, so we're, this is like Cheryl Kramer's house. See the blue house back there? My brothers and I, we would just climb down through here, you see, down this way. Man, we were pretty, pretty Spider-Man-like. And we would climb, and there was a little water thing there, and there's a ton of water bugs that like glide on top of the water there. And we used to play there. And Kurt and Cheryl Kramer used to live here. Um, and Stan Lee used to go to the same barbershop. You know, the comic book um, inventor of uh, same barbershop my brothers and I used to go to in the area. Beautiful. I love it. She That's where you went hiking? Yeah, let me just explain. Okay. Okay, so as you can hear, you hear that? Birds? Crickets? And see this little creek? This is on the other side of Cheryl Kramer's house. That's why everybody knows Cheryl Kramer and her brother Kurt. They had a lot of Star Wars figures. And uh, we would follow this creek and just hike and follow the creek all the way up. We loved it, us kids. We all got together in the neighborhood. We'd hike up this creek, and at the very top, it's a sewage draining thing. And we thought it was, we called it a waterfall. And then we'd end up at the park and fly kites up above where the trees are. It's called the forest. We used to hike there. Okay, we're, we're back up to my old house. And this is the backyard, as you can see. My favorite bush is right in the middle, beyond the tree. And do you see that little herb garden? I dug that fresh with my mom. She and I put the fence up and the herb garden is still there. The new owners uh, liked it and kept it going. <laughs> so Jennifer Connelly's house is that red house. She's a little girl that played doctor with Jamie Gallagher when she was three years old. That's what I remember. And then this house, this yellow house is the, is the Haas, this house. Arthur Haas, John Haas, and David Haas. We were real good friends, my brothers and I. We hung out here a lot. And Mr. Haas passed away several years ago. They live in Texas with us now, in, in Lake Jackson, or the mom does, Mrs. Haas. Okay, and if I turn the corner here, uh, Cheryl Duong's house is right here. That's, uh, her father's a doctor. And then, um, ain't, this is Jamie Gallagher's house. I remember playing Take the Can in this driveway right here. And I tripped on, they used to have something like bordering it and I did a roll and Mrs. Gallagher said I was really really smart and dexterous I remember that and if I turn here on Deborah Street look they're all names of girls kind of like in Austin in our neighborhood um, except here it's Deborah and Donna and in Austin it's Elizabeth and Mary <laughs> so on Deborah Street the Potters 
Chris Potter and her and his family lived over here in this blue house right here. That's the Chris Potter house. They had a big basement, and Chris's older brother was like like this heavy metal guy <laughs> that like I don't know. He was just weird. I remember jet skis. I think the Potters still live here. That's crazy. So anyway, this is just a, a little tour of where I grew up in the neighborhood I grew up in for a couple of years as a stint from Texas. And uh, it was just the best neighborhood to grow up. As you can see, there's no fences back here. There's very few. Here's a couple of new ones, but all the family knew each other. And so um, it was a great place to grow up. You can see little kids. Right now it's late, the kids are in, but we were always running around here, hiking and playing. In the summer, the blacktop. This is the ha Mrs. Haas's house. Wow. Oh boy. Um, and we go down this way, and this is a very small neighborhood. You can't get lost. There's only like two blocks. <laughs> it sure really seemed very, very big. It seemed so big um, when we when I lived here. I was very small, so it felt like a giant, giant land. <laughs> but it's so small. That's it. That's it. This is Vestal. Vestal, New York. Here's Donna Street again. And all you gotta do to leave, leave Vestal is drive from Donna and turn left and you'll see the auto. Once you see the automobile place, then and then you can get a, you can leave Vestal from via Vestal Parkway. So I'm gonna park here for a moment and I'm gonna see local stuff like uh, elementary schools and libraries and, and such, okay? Okay, so we're gonna head over to Vestal Public Library, which Vestal apparently is still here. I spent hours and hours there with my brothers. My mother would drop us off there after school sometimes, or she, which is a lot. <laughs> and we spent hours and hours there looking up books on like things like magic tricks, martial arts, and, and making films and, and theater and stuff. So I'm gonna see if we can get there, okay? Just, we're, here we are, Vestal Public Library. Now, Skylark Motel, whenever we had friends from out of town, we would make them stay here, and we had to pick them up here. I remember that. Skylark Motel Diner. And this is the Vestal Public Library where I remember spending so much time here with my brothers. And there's oh, Vestal can. Senior Vestal High Public School, library on the road. which I, I was never went there because I love it back to Texas, you know. But let me see if it's open. Maybe I can use the bathroom I used when I was a little boy. Here's, look at how old it looks. Vestal Public Library. Okay, here's Public Library of Vestal. Vestal Public Library, spent hours in here. Okay, so we're in the library, Vestal Public Library, and this is a little step ladder. I had to step up on this thing, and then look at this. This thing you had to twist. It was really hard for me to twist to get a drink of water. It wasn't a push button thing. Now, let me show you my favorite area in the library. So the peanut stuff is all new, but this area looks exactly the same. <laughs> this is where I hung out. <laughs> I would sit here and play with these things and read books off the shelf. Okay, so let's get out of here now. Leave the people alone. Okay, so that was Vestal Public Library where I spent hours and hours. You could see where my brother's and I hung out. And now we're gonna, before the sun sets, we're gonna go to African Road Elementary School, which is an open school system that I, uh, I, I, where I went to school, for elementary school, okay. At, right at African Road here in Vestal, New York, which is where I went to elementary school. Um, African Road Elementary School. They had a road runner for, for a mascot. Okay, so here in Vestal, we are in New York, but the summers are so hot. As I remember as a child, it was hotter than, than, than in Texas but it's cold in the winters and it, it's really um, snowy and icy. But in the summers, it was so hot that the, the, the blacktop on the streets in our neighborhood that we just saw would melt and our shoes would sink into the street. And sometimes we'd, I'd try to walk and my foot would come out of my shoe. The shoe would get stuck into the, and I couldn't even pull it out with my, uh, with my hand. That's how I remember it. This is new. They, we didn't have this. This is brand new. Oh, so there are little children here still. And a mom that looks very fit. Just playing with her kids. 
Okay, and we are going to African Road Elementary School, which is where I went to school. I had to actually take a bus. So they have a very good school bus system that the parents never had to carpool us, which um, I didn't have that growing up in Texas. Turn right on South Vienna Boulevard. Boulevard. We're here, and this is it. It looks exactly the same. We are here, African Road Elementary School. Wow! It's on the corner of South Bonita Road and African Road. And the One speed limit. Arrive at African Road oh, Elementary wow. School on Look. the left. Here, here's where the school bus would drop us off. So I will pretend to be the school bus right now, and uh, we would. The school bus would turn around. Hmm? Was, was it the middle? It says it's a m elementary and the middle together. Yeah, yeah. Elementary and middle school were together. So I got in a fight with a middle schooler when I was little. Oh, and that's why. Because right. it was together. Yeah. The, the buses brought middle schoolers and elementary school kids together. I was really young. I skipped kind of a... I was a little young for my grade. So this, the school bus will park right here. And we would go into school. And uh, there was a middle schooler who... I kept kicking the back of my uh, my school bus bench, and he day after day he would do that. And after the the third or fourth week in the winter, it was cold. I didn't like it, and all of a sudden uh, I just lost it, and I jumped over the seat behind me and just went crazy on the on him and his friend. They were both in middle school. And I just punched him and then apparently he must have gotten a black eye. I wasn't even trying to, I was just angry because he kept, I was crying. And then I got taken to the principal's office and this boy is probably, you know, he's in middle school and uh, probably, I'm not exaggerating, five times larger than me. And the principal just couldn't stand it. He kept laughing and they, they I, I actually didn't get in trouble because the principal said, were you picking on him? And it was obvious, yes, because his friend said he was. He got told him not to mess with him, which is not true. And then my mom came, and I was crying. I thought I was going to get in trouble, but uh, my mom came and, and, and said, oh, I'm so sorry. His father was, like, having a bad day or whatever, and I never got in trouble. <laughs> That's all I remember. So, Allison, what did you say about the trees here? I said I'm starting to see the trees are starting to already turn. Yeah. Um, Tomorrow for... is September 1st. Yeah, so... And so fall, here's the fall colors are starting. You see that little, some of them little are bit. starting. And look. So you see the sun sets beautifully over that mountain right here. Now this is a little bridge inside the school that connects the middle school, which is over there, with the elementary school. And this, it was an open school system, which meant here we can walk a little. It's an open school system, which means um, I guess. That, that we didn't we didn't sit in rows. We didn't have to ask to go to the bathroom. We we worked at our own pace, and so um, like they have kids that are like have higher IQs and stuff. And I know it's hard to believe, but I was one of them. <laughs> so I remember getting into the fight here in the school bus with the middle schooler when I was in first grade. First grade, first grade, got in a fight. I was just so angry. He kept he wouldn't leave me alone. He kept kicking the bottom of my seat from behind. That's great, huh? So we So I played in the orchestra, I played the cello here as one of the, my extracurricular activities. So then the bus wouldn't pick me up on certain days and I'd have to sit here. This looks exactly the same. And my mom my mom or my dad would have to pick me up pretty late, like around this time when the sun is setting. Okay. And over there, you see over there, is where we played softball and soccer. We can maybe even drive over there, right across the way. Sunset. So, right here is the field that we used to play on a lot. And sometimes we would, um, we play a lot of soccer. So th this school is very European, so a lot of soccer and the open school system is actually a European system that makes the kids, we all sit in tables and we work at our own pace. So you may be very young, like, I don't know, much younger chronological age, 
but you worked faster, so you worked at your grade level system. So let's say, you know, you're a six-year-old, but you might be a third grade level, okay? So they didn't stop you, and you were with other students of all different levels of the same age. So they made kids of the same age be in the same class, but not everybody was doing the same material, okay? And, but it worked out fine. Nobody discriminated against anybody else. So we play a lot of soccer. So the soccer fields and goals are still here. It's a big soccer. A lot of, there's a lot of British people that live in, in Vessel at the time, and English and Europeans who love soccer rather than American football. They call it football over there, you know. Okay? So we're gonna turn in for the night, okay? And maybe we'll see something tomorrow. We're in Vestal, New York with a spider that looks just like Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. Wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. And it's in the middle of the night. Listen to all of them. This is where I grew up. <laughs> Good morning. We are now in Vestal, Texas at the Hampton Inn. Well, you know, it's actually Vestal, New York, but this is Canada Travels, Texas. So, good morning. We're here in Vestal, New York. And we're getting breakfast and look at these beautiful flowers out the window from where my bacon is at. Here's my bacon. And those are the really pretty flowers. Yay. Don't be bashful. <laughs> bacon, the food of champions. It's the perfect food. It's got the perfect protein and the perfect uh, amount of fat. The more fat you eat, the skinnier you get. It's no joke. Anyway, I'm here in Vestal. New York, not Texas. Here on Candid Travels, Texas. We're gonna go out and find other places that I used to go to as a little boy. A couple of years where I lived here, all right? And here are the pretty flowers that I saw while I was eating breakfast. Here's Vessel, New York. It's in the morning. We're gonna do some Tai Chi. And we're gonna get going, okay? Alright, I was wrong. These are the be pretty beautiful flowers that I saw when I was eating breakfast. Aren't they pretty? Here in Vestal, New York. We're going to do Tai Chi now. <sighs> okay, here we are beginning our day in Vestal, New York. Okay, we're leaving our place at the Hilton. And we're gonna drive into the small town that I grew up in for a few years as a little boy when I was like Kai Lu on PBS. I'm kind of like him now, still. <laughs> okay, so we're going down the hill and this is Vestal, New York. It's really a amazing town. I mean, it's like suburbia that hasn't gone unchanged, you know, sort of like Johnson City, but it is definitely, um, it's cool, look at it. Turn right on Vestal Parkway. Okay, so here's the Bl Lee's Black Elk Academy right there. It was here like a long time ago. They're still here. Crazy. Okay, we're going into Vestal. Okay, okay we're going to drive to our friend's house. And the trees Dr. are already starting to turn. Yeah, the trees are starting and to turn. And it's just been one day. Uh, and it's told, already oh, here's one. It's like a one. big difference. Look at this house. This tree is almost completely dark. Wow. You see? It's only one day. And only it's one day. September 1st. September 1st. So pretty. Here's some wildflowers. And this is the area near my old elementary it's school. And oh see, just compared to yesterday, it's already started changing the colors. It's really, right here, here's some fruit and the different colors. And here is the, where we were yesterday. And we would just, there are children here, yes. And that boy in the orange shirt looks just like a guy named Jason Berger that I do. It's just so, all right, so these two boys look exactly like the boys I used to grow up playing with. Even the way they dress. We used to wait here for our parents to pick us up, and these girls are dressed and look exactly like. So these two boys look exactly like the boys I used to grow up playing with, even the way they dress. We used to wait here for our parents to pick us up, and these girls are dressed and look exactly like. So these little girls look exactly and are dressed exactly like they did when I was here at elementary school so long ago. 
And like Allison noticed, some of the leaves have already started. Look over here. Compared to just less than 24 hours ago, you see it's starting to change. Zoom in on that. You see the back, that uh -huh. one? That was green just yesterday. And look at the edges. And by tomorrow, it's going to be even more, uh, more uh, changing, getting yellow and green and stuff like that. Eat okay, lunch, so. Eat lunch there. Yeah, we'll eat lunch in Johnson City. Oh. Uh, Dr. and Mrs. Pan uh, were really good to me when I was little. And so they're driving us right now. I don't think they want to be on camera. So uh, <laughs> I, we're going to go to uh, the uh, old barber shop that my brothers, Kevin, Larry, and I, my mother would take us there for our haircuts. Of course, <laughs> now I don't need it. Uh, and um, I want to see if the old barber shop is there. And then uh, my old elementary school, I think it's closed. I asked Dr. And Mrs. Penn, it wasn't on the GPS. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh, uh, Lincoln Elementary School yeah. is, is uh, and, and I didn't find a GPS so that was the first school I went to and then I went to African Road Elementary School so uh, let's see where we're going or, or the uh, or the, uh, well, the barber the shop barber shop oh, okay so we're now back in Johnson City yeah and that overpass is new dr. Pan said it's new and uh, I don't remember. And that's why I was confused when I drove in. And then, uh, and th we're gonna go to the barber shop in Johnson City where we got, we got our hair cut. You, you we met Stan Lee. <laughs> we know who he was at the time. <laughs> yes, there was a little park in Johnson. I think I think it's called Flora yeah, yeah. Avenue Park. And he's gonna take us there. I yeah. think I played here. I'm trying to remember. We're so costume, young. Okay, uh, there it is. I remember there was this round thing I spun on. This is it, I think. The, uh, my dad took me kite flying here. Oh, is this kite where, flying. when you kite told flying. me? This is it. Where you learn? <laughs> yes. But the, Wait, the, you mean that video? Yeah, in the, in the home movies, yeah. David, second, second. I think yeah. this is it. Second. Yeah, this is, the, this is the park. The team play here, too. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the park, but it looks so different. Maybe it's... So Dr. Pang told me this is called Floral Park. I didn't even know what it was called. But right here, where the contraption was, there was a round, uh, just a round... What do you, I don't know what those yeah, are called. We used like to push them. Like a merry-go-round. Yeah, but now they're, they're dangerous. Then, then, then you get off. You jump and then up. over there is a baseball diamond. You see the baseball diamond? Oh, my, yeah. My dad would teach me how to fly kites there. And... I think the water fountain where Kevin and Larry fought over the water was by, by where it says girls and boys. You see that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Look like a taco uh, barrel. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah especially the, okay. the crappy, this one right here. Okay. This house right here looks like 52 Harrison Street in which I lived. You see why they tore it down? <laughs> in Johnson City. And this is where we did the kite flying at the Floral Park. Dr. Pan, what's it called? Floral Park? Floral. Floral Park. And this is the same baseball field. We have home movies of me with my yeah, dad. This street called Floral. Floral. Floral and Baldwin Street. Okay, cool. Very important place for my memory. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come back. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so cute. Okay. So my, my old house was in this parking lot. <laughs> and this is Eka Burke pa Power, Dr. Yeah. Pan and Mrs. Pan and we, Timmy and, and, and Christine in lived in here and we used to go over and play <laughs> there and this place was luxurious compared to <laughs> 52 Harrison Street. <laughs> I like going over there because it was nice. Well, yeah. Yeah, choice. Your, your, your this father, is better. I didn't like 52 Harrison Street. <laughs> 52 Harrison Street was not nice <laughs> compared to here. Okay, you got it? Is yes. it running the whole yes. time? Okay, so this is called Eckeberg Tower, and we used to come and visit with Timmy and Christine, Dr. Pan's kids, and uh, it looked so tall to me because I was this tall. See, from here, you go from this point of view, like from down here, and look up. Wow, it looked so tall. Now it doesn't, doesn't seem tall. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, it's Eckelberger. Eckelberger. Eckelberger e Tower. <laughs> it's still named that, and people still live here. Yeah. Can we go in? I don't think oh, it's I locked. Think they have all security. Yeah, they have. Okay. Okay, so oh. tore down one church, and it all became the parking lot. So the other church, I forgot what it looked like. 
I remember that one. That one was there, the brown one. Well, there's another one right next to it. Right. Also so that a big, one, big one. What color was that? Because that's why I felt it felt strange. Is it kind of red? Red? Or pinkish. They moved it. I remember there was something here where the parking lot was at. The church. I was very confused when I drove well, here yesterday. There's a small house here, too. Small so house. All took down. Reverend Ron <clears throat> Wenzinger, 1 Corinthians 14. Wow. Reverend Ron Wenzinger sounds like he might have been a rabbi Tony's at one time. Tony's Texas Hots. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was there. Tony's Texas Hots was there, I remember. The There's bar, some stuff. It's all like, here's the barbershop. Yeah. This is yeah. it. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's Connie's. Con is it Connie's hair place oh. now? Well, they, now they moved to uh, across the street. That was where the barbershop used to be, yeah. and they moved. So the barbershop used to be Connie's, is now Connie's hair salon. Yeah. And the, now, uh, here it is busy. I'll bring it to they moved the barbershop, the owners moved it to. The son in law now. The son in law moved the physical location right. of the barbershop we used to go to. Uh, where? Okay, so parts of, of this. Okay, part. so this is. The barber shop that my mother took my brothers and I to here in Johnson City, New York. I guess called Holly it was called Hollywood Barbershop back then and we met Stan Lee in here. It's really funny. <laughs> We're gonna go in. Vincent Tony. Vincent Tony, yes. Okay, this gentleman's father-in-law is Tony? Vince. Vince. Alright. So Vincent Tony was the barber shop, and of course I don't need one right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. And uh, so, this is not the original location, right? No. It was, uh, it was uh, up the street, up a, block the street a block up. Right. And I remember when when I was a kid, the, the front part was where this, this, like you walk inside, am I right? right. And then the waiting area was in the back. Was in the walk in, and then there was a big table in the middle, and there was a bunch of comic books in the middle for kids. Does that sound right? That's right. And that's where we, uh, my mom was like, she had to go next door to buy something. We didn't come back for a long time and y'all were closing. And uh, Stan the man was watching the three of us while he was getting his hair done. So thank you so sure. much. For, uh... Okay, so this is Vincent Marino. We called him Vince, a Vestal. Yeah. And uh, he cut my brother and I's hair at the barber shop when we were growing up here. And uh, yeah, I think he was friends with Stan Lee because Stan Lee was come in and I didn't know who he was. I'd say it was Mr. Stan. That was all I called him that. And my mom like kind of took advantage of him babysitting. She doesn't even know who he is. That's uh, there you go. Legendary barber shop. Wow. I remember the Cadillac right. poster right. in the barber shop. And there. You can uh, sell them. Welcome along. Is it okay? <laughs> it's for our web series. I don't care. Okay. Hi. This, this is like my mom. She's, to, she's taking Logan here for his haircut. Like when I was, I was a little younger than Logan, I think. Um, about a, a year or two, and Vince cu cut Logan's hair. When he was one years old, Like when Vince cut my hair. And uh, anyway, my brother Kevin and I liked it here, but my youngest brother Larry kind of didn't like it. He li and he was, well, he's the guy who ended up going to Supercuts. So uh, later on when Supercuts became, uh, I never liked Supercuts, so. Anyway, so you're kind of like my mom back then, and yeah. I'm kind of reliving my childhood right now. This is fantastic. We get it. It's fantastic. I went to my elementary school. When I was what? There. I went to uh, Lincoln Elementary School. Okay, I was at, on the east side of it. And because then I had to go back into school after 30 years, and I was crying right. when I walked back in because I remember the kindergarten room. I was like, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, and then Vestal oh, Public oh, Library. Oh, yeah. Do you guys go there? Yes, he's yep. Vestal. He goes to Vestal. Okay, yeah. So I I went to African Road okay. Elementary. That's where my husband went. Wait, how did you yep. I can't remember. I never graduated because I left for Texas. All right, so Max here is remem remembers one of my first music teachers here in um, in this area is Enrico Zizzi. He was an amazing guitar player, and he played and performed with O'Connor, Jack O'Connor, and I remember they played a lot of Dixieland music. That's right, a lot of Dixieland music, and my mom would would take me to go listen, so I'd become a better musician. I remember that. Wow, thank you. Oh, he's gone to heaven already, so, but uh, he was quite old. So how got, old would he be now? He's got a son. Uh-huh. And this, oh, I, it, almost, yeah. He's got a son that plays bass guitar, 
Son who plays bass guitar. Uh -huh. I believe he's got two daughters that are also in the same band. Wow. One sings and one plays guitar. Wow. I'm trying to think the name of the band. Do they still live in the area? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I ended up moving to Texas and then ended up getting sucked into Hollywood and lived in L.A. for a while. So I ended up doing, you know, film, movie, and entertainment and stage stuff out there. And I did, like, I'm starting to do a little in Texas. So I grew up the second half of my childhood in, in Texas. But this is where... Not at all. I remember. Oh, it's yeah, it's mind blasting. It's I, I don't. It, it's weird. It's weird because there are differences, but every there's. I just thought of the name of the band that the name of that? those kids are in. Yeah. It's called Highway Fruit Market. Highway Fruit Market. Yeah, it makes sense because that's what the was upstairs. Right. <laughs> Here I'm trying to think. Of oh, that Vince getting his candy after his haircut like <laughs> I used to. Uh, but I think Vince gave us uh, gum. It was like double bubble gum. But it's a similar a feel. Yeah. Oh, Times have changed. With his haircut, this is called a pr Princeton. A Princeton, right? A Princeton. A Princeton. That's what Vince Looking called. good. Looking good. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Wow. Nice. And there's mom. But you're a better mom in that my mom left us here. Are we on? Yes. Okay. Are we rolling? Yeah. Hey. Okay. So, uh, we just finished visiting the Hollywood Barbershop in Johnson City, New York, and Mike is the son-in-law of Vince, who used to cut all our hair, and we had a little boy named Logan. It was really cool to kind of relive like how I was, except I had two little brothers that came with me. Anyway, Dr. Pan's gonna take us to um, Lincoln Elementary School, which I couldn't find on my own. But apparently everyone here says it's been turned into an apartment building. So we're gonna see if we can drive by, okay? It's, okay, this was called Lincoln Elementary School, where it's now called Harry L. Apartments. They converted this elementary school into apartments. Now, can we walk? Maybe we can see the back. So is the building the same? Because it does. Looks, it looks like a school. Yeah, the building looks exactly the same. But it's apartment? But it's been converted to apartment. Where's the blacktop that we used to play at? You know that playground area? I remember the black, I fell down a lot when it was icy. Because I, 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 you know, I, my mom didn't give me the proper boots, so. <laughs> so here's the parking lot. It's actually where the blacktop was, where we would have the play, the recess no, area. No, Harry L. Apartment. Yeah, <laughs> which is for, it's, it's for a, a, old, a, a older assisted living or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I remember the, the this was the, used to be a blacktop. And then when it was snowing and icy, I would slip on it. And there was a playground. Oh, look around or no? Sure, sure. Okay. So this actually used to be all blacktop recess area. I remember we had to come out this door and there was no trees. There was nothing. Just blacktop. And we had to line up and walk around. And then there was playgrounds here and it was really icy. I didn't have the right shoes, so I slipped on the ice. That's what I remember. And then some, some people were jerks and they tried to fight me. <laughs> uh, and I've slipped around a lot. And then this, was this hilly? This wasn't, Dr. Pan, was this hilly? Or was it uh, flat? Cool. Fourth grade classroom. Yeah, really? Oh yeah. wow! I, I, and I, and I, I'm, I'm like 63 years old. That where that wall is right there was my fourth grade classroom. So this is not and Lincoln her, Elementary School. No, and now it's her. This her is Harry L. Jackson. It's Harry L. Jackson. So Lincoln Elementary is actually on Cherry Street. Cherry Street. We're going to try to find it. Uh, Thanks to Dr. Pan. He's way, good. What's the best way to send them? This is Arch. But the buildings are the same color, so yeah, I was same, really confused. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. What did you say? Their mom's apartment? Uh, we were just talking to two women, and uh, her mother, the daughter, her mother's apartment here was her fourth grade classroom. Oh, wow. She was living there, being a teacher. Yeah, so anyway, Dr. Pan is going to try to get us to Cherry Street, which is where the... Lincoln Elementary School used to be, and now it's been changed too to something else. Like Grand, Avenue. Grand Avenue and Cherry Street. I see there's Dr. Pan's office, and there's Dr. Farrow's office plate. So we're gonna head over to Cherry oh, Street, Cherry Street is which is the red dot 
is it's a three minute drive. Uh, where the uh, Lincoln Lincoln Elementary School was here. We're finding it. We found it. That's it. This is this brown building was uh, Lincoln Elementary yeah, School. Yeah, I here. Uh, yeah, Lincoln Elementary yeah. School. Okay, so this is a. This is, this still is now school. the. Uh, fa this is used to be the Lincoln Elementary School, but now it's a family enrichment network. I, I don't know what that is. Maybe we could go around. So this is the brown building. I remember going to school, going up these stairs, and inside and still the school. Maybe it's a school. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay. So maybe we walk around, and this is the blacktop where I fell down at. I gotta go look where I fell down. <laughs> oh, you can go in? I'm inside the building. I, it smells exactly the same as I remember as a child, the smell. I do remember, it's, it's not good or bad, it's just, yeah, here's the hallways. I, what I wanna look at is for the blacktops. It used to be really, really cold here. Really, really, really cold. I think this is it. This is the blacktop that I used to play outside at. I slid up, slid around on, but now it's a parking lot. It does look a little different, but this is the building. Okay. There's a house. This is, it looks like it's about to crash under, you know. But that, you know, the condition of that house is kind of like 52 Harrison Street in Johnson City where I used to live which has been torn down. There's the other side of the building that used to be Lincoln Elementary School. Ah, is this the blacktop? It's really all very confusing. It was so long ago. This was the blacktop. Okay, it's just the... Yeah, here it is, I think. You know, it just seems a lot smaller now, obviously. I'm a lot bigger. Cool. Yeah, this is it. This is the blacktop. This is the area, but there was no playground. Well, the playground was different. Here it is, here's the blacktop. The former Lincoln Elementary School. Oh, I remember it now, I remember it, this is it. This is where I slid on the ice out here. And we would come out this door and we were forced to go to recess in this area here when we came out that door yeah. this is Oakdale Mall I remember coming here all the time as a kid <laughs> and I remember watching uh, Back to the Future and this parking lot looks so much like the Back to the Future parking lot <laughs> yeah Back to the Future yeah so Bonton Oakdale Mall I'm gonna eat at uh, I think Ruby Tuesday. So it looks the same except Montgomery Ward used to be where here Macy's was Montgomery Ward. That's what Dr. Mrs. Pang said. But the parking lot looks the same. It's crazy funny. We're meeting at Ruby Tuesdays here in Oakdale Mall. And I got the salad bars, one of my sides with my petite sirloin. And here's pumpernickel, some broccoli, blue cheese, beets, ham, spinach and lettuce with some cheese okay so we're gonna now that was a good lunch we're gonna head over I think one of our last stops is going to pick some apples <laughs> from the apple orchard straight off the tree and I'm gonna eat it Allison has never done that but once and that was in someone else's yard so this is a an actual apple orchard we're gonna pick it off and eat it right off the tree and then there's a place called Cider Mill, if we can make it. Um, they show how they crush the apples and make it into apple cider. So we may be able to bring that and have some, that, some of that to drink. We're in apple country. Yeah. So we're gonna head over to the apple orchards right now. I think we'll do Cider Mill first. Cider Mill first? Okay. So we'll go to the Cider Mill first, and then we'll go pick some apples. <laughs> Endwell Plaza. I remember Endwell. Yeah, here. Here we eat something here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Chinese we, we always yeah. come here eat. There's the free cruise town. Oh. Before it's Ampara. So here's uh, Lupo's Char In Pit. Like, here are more houses. Uh, houses here. It's 2015, but it seems a, a lot, long time, a lot longer ago. This is the village of Endicott. 
which is all real close together to where we live in Vestal and Johnson City. We're gonna go to the cider mills, towns and then cities, I think. Right, there's something smaller either. Uh, here we are, into Endicott. Grant Street. Here we go to the cider mill. So there's a box office entrance, so it's probably some kind of, there's a performance yeah, sure. here. Watch us make cider. Cider mill has been on this property since 1926 and has operated continuously to this day. We have worn out several presses. Woo! Cider is pressed Saturday and Sunday. Every 10 minutes, cider is pressed weekday as needed. Wow. Okay, so this is where they make the apples into apple cider. Now, they're not doing it now. I remember when I was a, a little boy, I watched them load the apples and they would crush them, right? What would they crush them, like here? And then it would go up through here in those tanks and they would suck the juice out and it'll come out and we could actually see it coming out into those cartons it's really neat cider mill when i was a little boy we came here and then my family uprooted and moved up to texas when i was 11 and i come back on my own interesting now that i'm like really old so very yeah. interesting yeah this is the apples it, you can't, it's not all set up but this is where the apples are washed they have water that'll wash all the apples and then basically there's brushes down underneath here that'll scrub any of the dirt off. There's metal pieces that all stack up here. Right. And that's a grinder that grinds the apples uh -huh. up into like, a, like an apple, like, right, like right, apple right. sauce, real thick apple sauce. Okay. And what we do is this green hose that's actually down in the pit right now, it goes up here on the tray and we just, all the apple pumice right on the different trays, slide it underneath, squish out the juice and that's basically. So you said the difference between cider and apple juice once again was Cider has preservatives. No, nope, apple juice has preservatives. A apple juice has preservatives. Yes. The cider is crushed. And as pasture. you said, juice was, apples were boiled. Yes, apple juice is boiled. boiled and cider is pasteurized. And pasteurized. 220 for boiling, 165 for pasteurization. Oh, okay. Sometimes it's a little warmer than that. I try to run about 175, 180, but it doesn't reach the boiling point. Right, so it's more, it's more nutritious to drink apple cider yes, oh, absolutely. than juice. Absolutely, but you have no shelf life. Your shelf, the shelf life, life is seven is to much ten days. And that's seven it. to ten days. Where juice, it's three to six months. I mean, three if you don't open months. a thing of juice, you can get six months out of it. Wow, shelf. okay. So that's um, a big difference. Here's another interesting thing, too. You go into any local grocery store, uh -huh. and they're selling apple cider for like three ninety nine, four ninety nine a gallon. If you look, the very first ingredient is always potassium sorbate. So that's not really it's apple not cider. Not really apple cider. It's actually it's juice. actually apple juice. Okay. They're act, they're selling as apple they're cider. They're selling it. Okay, but it's not. It's wow. Juice. Thank you. What's your name? Brent. 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 Yes. Brent. Thanks, nice. Brent. Yeah, no problem. Nice to meet you. We're going across a bridge and we're headed to the apple orchard, the actual apple orchard. I'm going to pick, we're going to pick one off the tree. I'm going to eat, eat it right away. Okay? So we're now headed to, well, I guess it's called Airport Road Apple Orchard, right? Yeah. So here we are heading toward the apple orchard and this is just a beautiful rolling hill. That's only one part of Texas. There's like many different parts of Texas. Some parts have like pine tree, some parts have desert, some parts have like prairie grass. Here's uh, Apple Hills. You see the UP? Here at the Apple Orchard. Look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> Pull it off and look at the... Oh, it's delicious. We have a donkey at the Apple Orchard. It's uh, Eddie Murphy's cousin. Okay, so we're in the we are now leaving the Broome County Apple Orchard, and it's a you pick. Yeah, okay, from Vessel, New York, Candid Travels, Texas. Thanks for joining us at Candid Travels, Texas, here in Vestal, New York. And this is where we're ending our journey. Look, Texas Roadhouse in Vestal, New York. Woo!